our master of ceremonies. He has crossed the pond to be with us tonight. It's always great to have him here. The very distinctive Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time we are ready for our lightweight special attraction. Please welcome the boxers as they make their way to the ring. First joining us to the blue corner, the spoiler from Dewsbury, England. Please welcome Youssef Alhamidi. Yusuf Al Hamidi introduced as a spoiler. Well, a little bit unfair. He's technically a very adept fighter, and in his last appearance, he defeated the unbeaten Anthony Crawler. That is good form, trust me. He's mixed at high level, and his record it does not reflect what a capable fighter he is. He's taken this at late notice, and it could be that he's going to give John Murray a very awkward night. opponent joining us to the red corner from Manchester, England. Here's the undefeated John Murray. John Murray, 23 years old, undefeated as a professional. A former British Young Boxer of the Year. Talent unquestionably as he got the talent to step up to the very top. Just 23 years old. Go Johnny, go! Here's the music. How well will he go tonight against a real tricky customer in Yusuf Al Hamidi? Ladies and gentlemen, a very good evening to you, and we welcome you to the Trent FM Arena here in Nottingham, England, as we have a big night of action coming your way, and it's all brought to you courtesy of Hennessy Sports, in association with GoldenPalace.net, sponsored by Elia Casino, Hooters, DCM Money Solutions, and Lifestyles. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, we present a lightweight special attraction. Introducing first our third man in the ring, our referee in charge of this bout, Terry O'Connor. All right, fans, here we go live and exclusive on ITV for lightweights in a ring. Eight rounds of boxing scheduled. Introducing to you first on my left, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing red trunks. He weighed in at eight stone, three pounds and eight ounces. A veteran of 13 professional bouts, including his most recent upset and impressive victory. Hailing from Dewsbury, England, by way of Syria, introducing Youssef Alhamidi. And his opponent across the ring on my right, fighting out of the red corner, wearing blue trunks with white trim. He weighed in at 10 stone, one pound, four ounces. He is undefeated in his campaign in the ring with a record of 23 wins, no losses. 12 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the English lightweight champion from Manchester, England, introducing the undefeated John. Murray! Once again, a third man in the ring, Terry O'Connor, now to give instructions. Remind you, eight rounds of boxing scheduled. You both know the rules, protect yourself at all times, watch the heads. When I say break, I want it straight away, okay? Shake hands, best looks to both.
for the first drum. Well, how good is John Murray going to look for this one tonight? He was to have fought John Fuchs of Sheffield. He pulled out because of suffering a bout of gastroenteritis. And after various names were mentioned, finally, it's the slippery and elusive Yusuf Al Hamidi. Really good technical boxer. And Murray is going to have to fight well if he's going to get this lad out of there. The only man who's actually stopped Al Hamidi is Michael Gomez, former British super featherweight champion who's due to fight Amir Khan next month. And Murray, of course, is somebody who has been spoken of potentially as an opponent for Khan somewhere down the road. But how good is he going to look against Al Hamidi? And Al Hamidi is not the sort of bloke who's going to be phased by this big occasion atmosphere. Absolutely no respect to a reputation whatsoever. Al Hamidi, as we saw in his last fight against Corolla, uh, just did a number on him, basically. But he moves very well laterally. Murray's going to have to move with him and do it behind a very well-educated jab, stalk him and just keep pressuring him. If he gets a stoppage, that really is a bonus. What he needs to concentrate on is grinding out a points victory. Crawler, I'm told, is to have blood tests after being found to have been suffering a little from anemia after that fight against Al Hamidi. But Al Hamidi's been in, in good company, hasn't he? he? Pushed Michael Hunter very close indeed and lost narrowly to John Simpson up in Scotland. And there are a few people at ringside who thought he was a little bit unlucky to have had the verdict go against him there. Of course, Simpson very much the home favourite. And uh, as you'll quickly see, he's technically adept. Good movement and good accuracy of punches. Good punch picker, Al Hamidi. And he can fight like this all night long. Mommy's just waiting a little bit too long. Stalking, sure, but not putting enough pressure on behind his own punches. Murray from a boxing family. Brother Joe, you might have seen, holding the belt during the introductions from... Uh, Jimmy Lennon Jr. Joe's representing Britain at the Olympics in Beijing. And Murray, by his own high standards, he looked good against Dean Hickman in winning the English title. Looked a little bit ragged in his last performance in Las Vegas the night before Ricky Hatton's fight against Floyd Mayweather when he went in against Miguel Angel Mungia and looked, well, not at his what can be sparkling best he got marked up and he got messed around by a fighter who really is a little bit limited well al hamidi in this opening round this is an eight rounder remember has given him plenty to think about murray certainly not having things all his own way in the opening period <laughs> 